Hi and welcome back to One Tiny Story. Last time I showed you how to make a loft bed for my room box and today I'm going to make a desk that fits under the loft bed. We're also gonna make a poof. The materials we're gonna use today are foam board and uh, cardboard. I will start with taking the measurements of the bed to know how big the desktop should be. Then I cut out all the pieces. You will find all the measurements down below. I'm going to make a really simple desk and you won't be able to open the drawers. To make the front I glue small pieces of cardboard onto a piece of foam board. And now I will build a cabinet and I will glue all the parts together, except for one side, you will see later on. Before I put uh, on the last side of the cabinet, I glue on the front. The drawers are done and ready for some paint and just as the bed I'm painting them white. Autumn has arrived to Sweden and it gets dark really quickly now. To make the desktop I will use decorated plastic with a marble pattern and a piece of cardboard. You can find this decorative plastic in all kinds of different patterns, wood, stone, etc. I attach the cardboard to the decorative plastic and I cut the edges. And then I will just fold the plastic around the cardboard. It's getting way too dark now, so I will continue tomorrow when it's better lighting. So let's jump over to tomorrow. It's a new day and better light. So let's continue this project and now we're going to make a poof for the desk. Quarks is a very good material for miniature making and it's exactly that we're going to use to make the poof for the desk. I fold the fabric inside out around the cork. Put a pin to keep the fabric in place. And then sew along the cork. Cut away leftover fabric. Now we're going to make the top of the poof and this part is a little bit tricky. I have put the fabric back onto the cork still inside out. I put a few pins uh, through the fabric to keep it in place. And now we're gonna sew these uh, two pieces together. I'm sure it is an easier way to do this, but my sewing skills aren't the best.
I cut away leftover fabric. Turn the fabric and then put it back on the cork. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope to see you again. And next time I'm going to make a wardrobe. Bye bye.